like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But he ain't get away with it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let nothing get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Got a couple things that I want to talk about to you guys today, man. Salute to every single one of y'all that watched this content, first of all. Whether religiously or in passing, you know, it's all about battle rap and the extension and the growth and the development of these MCs and hoping to keep them going. Uh, obviously, this weekend, Hitman Holla, the past weekend, Hitman Holla had his Bags and Bodies event, uh, the second version, you know, some really good battles on there. I like the uh, love and the attention that it is getting. Hopefully it continues to grow and do what they do. Uh, the Ultimate Rap League has started to put out announcements for Gnome Impact. I guess they're mixing Gnome and Double Impact together to make a Gnome Impact. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's being met with mixed reception. There are some people who's like, yo, this is dope. And there are other people who's just not feeling it. If you hadn't heard, Goods had made his statement. Goods went live on his channel yesterday. And he basically said, you know, like, Gnome and Summer Madness are two events that you really don't touch. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to try to experiment some shit, you experiment with something else. And this are the two... No, Gnome and Summer Madness are the two biggest cards in battle rap. Gnome and Summer Madness... Are the are two are the two biggest cards in battle rap. Those cards should never be touched. If you want to experiment with other cards before those cards, and you want to figure out things to do before that, and and throw events and and figure out if this event is good, and and make up new names and do all that, do that when before Norman and Summer Madness. Norman and Summer Madness should not be touched. If you're gonna make something double impact make it double impact right don't don't touch gnome or don't touch summer madness we want to see summer madness and we want to see gnome those cards are the biggest cards out so do i agree with uh, uh um what is it called a gnome impact no honestly to me that's trash just my opinion that's it. I'm not going to hold my tongue. I'm going to say how I feel all the time. Gnome Impact to me is trash. Keep it as double impact. Move on and do and, and do a Gnome or do a Summer Madness. But this all leads back to the budget cuts that a lot of people was talking about. That money ain't the same no more. Everybody knows it, whether it's the fans, whether it's battle rap enthusiasts, whether it's media analytics and people that are talking. I had said previously in some other blogs that caffeine used to be on like... Them niggas used to have tournaments. You'll see them every damn week. Like, it was back to back to back to back. The battlers were getting... I remember it was to a point where Steams and Reaper and some other folks that was in the tournament, they was battling so frequently, they'd get up there, spit one round, and then the next two rounds, they just choke and stumble all the way through because they don't even have time to remember the shit. That's how plentiful caffeine was. Now it's to a point where caffeine done dropped all the streamers, it kept like one or two people. You are always having less and less and less events on there. And it's going to dissolve. It'll, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the fiscal year, towards the end of the year, that the caffeine situation is done. Because the events ain't rolling out no more. But when it happened originally, and I knew it was this, it was something that they were trying to grab money when caffeine started charging. It was a program that was given to people for free. And that was the premise that was built for people to join. Oh, it's free. It's free. Oh, the, the, this, that, and the third. It was free. It was free. But then the goalposts got moved when they seen other people are starting to make money. And now they want to make money on their own. It is what it is. But Tay Rock and Gishi Gotti got announced for a team. And Av and Fonz got announced for a team. I'm sure Tay Rock and Gishi, you know what I'm saying? That's like the marquee team. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to do good. Both of them are good on their own. And, you know, as far as like double impact and stuff, I'm not really putting much time and like, Breaking down and predicting because it's all fun anyway. I don't look as ultimate. I don't look at double impact as an event where I'm like, hmm, I wonder who's going to win. Let's do the analytics. Let's do the bar breakdown. No, it's just fun. They'll get in there two on two. 
Uh, I heard about some teams. I heard about what's going. I heard about who they even who they battling. I'm really not gonna get into it though. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let the rollout happen as it may because I think that's fair to the company. You know what I'm saying? URL invests a lot of money in these MCs and a lot of money in these events, and they don't invest them in an event for bloggers or media or anyone who's privy to find out early to just let the information out. So I don't think that's fair to them. Uh, moving along, A Ward versus Loso. So I seen a flyer coming down that says June 23rd, A Ward versus Loso for a uh, Huddle Touch Battle for the Bay Presents High School Flag Football Girls Basketball Boys Tournament at noon. Epic showdown between two of the top MCs in the planet. Teens rappers compete for Champions of the Bay Battle Rap at noon. Morning highlights. This looks like more so a fun battle. Like they, they, I mean, I'm sure they'll probably rap against each other. And there's a pay-per-view too for huddletouch.org. It says, uh, so for the pay-per-view, you got to go to huddletouch.org. Um, I was going to say this. It's ironic how Loso's on the biggest league, but A-Ward is the bigger artist. Like out of that whole crew, like A-Ward is bigger than Loso, than Saga and Street Hymns. It, he is. It's just the way it is. Um... I think the reason why the artists are not, why Loso and others are not as big as A-Ward is because they have the lack of YouTube drops. I mean, I know Loso will argue the YouTube thing. I've seen him in the comments. I've seen him make comments before defending and arguing the app. But there's no clear depicted statistics that show that artists are getting bigger on the app. There is none. You know what I mean? I mean, the, the numbers on a lot of these apps are not even real. The caffeine numbers aren't real. They say that niggas is doing millions of views on battles that I've never seen. What they say she vs. Hustle did? Three, four, five million, however many million? I never even saw that battle. So how the hell did it do four million that I didn't see? How did it do four million views that I didn't see? And it's me. I never even saw the fucking battle. To this day, I never even saw it. So that's that. But uh, A-Ward, talented MC, his last battle, you know, he had Vixen before that. It was uh, Big K. We all know what happened in the Big K situation. And we know what happened in the Vixen situation. So it'll be good to see him. I don't know how far they're going to go amongst each other, like taking the gloves off and really like, you know, they, it might be competitive. I've seen two people on the same team have super ultra competitive battles like Easy and Chess, you know what I'm saying, and um, Surf and Rock before they was on the team. So I, it can happen, but I don't know how far they will go. I, but like I said, I don't know if this is a whole card. It looks like it's just an event that's being put together for the kids, for the community, and in that there will be some battles. Uh, a Ward going to Tampa to battle against Loso. I think Loso's a hell of a talent. Um, I did see him versus T Top. I uh, I had T Top winning. Uh, I think a good battle for Loso would probably be the Mac Myron because uh, I made the blog on Mac Myron the other day. And salute to all the Mac Myron fans, everybody that had watched that blog. It did like 10,000 views. I didn't think that me talking about a subject like Mac, Mac Myron, who is talented, will still garner the attention. So I see that you guys like when we talk about other things besides just what's in the headlines. And if you guys support that kind of content, I will continue to do it. But it's like, I'm not gonna be out here making a bunch of 2,000 view blogs because nobody gives a fuck about the subject. My time is too valuable. So uh, with y'all watching that and supporting that kind of content, I will continue to do it. Um, Moving along, so in that battle, 2-1 uh, either way, I don't even know if they're going to be serious or not, so I'm not going to sit here and put, like, a bunch of my mind into it. If, it, if they do if they do be serious amongst each other, we'll watch it. But I know these two have been on 2 on twos. I know they have been on everything together, so it's really hard to believe that they got that much pent-up animosity. Now, Loso, like I said, maybe he could look at it like, yo, this is a YouTube drop. Is this a YouTube? Is this a YouTube drop? Loso. Loso. Is this a fucking YouTube drop? Or you niggas getting this shit put on the fucking app too. You know what I'm saying? Is you niggas getting this shit put on the app too? Huh? I'm sorry for cursing, but it is what it is. Is this shit going on the app? I'm tired of this shit, bro. Is this going on the app or you niggas dropping this shit on YouTube? I need an answer by noon. <laughs> Fuck we doing here. Um Moving along, I saw uh, I saw Rosenberg Raw's interview with Three Letter Man yesterday. He basically spoke about the whole uh, you know, niggas getting pulled off the card or whatever the case may be. I'm going to say this, right? We all know it was nasty work. We all know niggas was pretty, pretty much made to get off the card, whatever the case may be. They got them calls. Them calls was placed. Then what you going to do? Then if you go over there and battle, don't come back over here. Cards and things. It, it calls and shit like that. We know. We know. Sorry. It is what it is. Regardless. You know what I'm saying? The first person I really heard about 
Speaking on it was Chris Unbiased. Salute to him and everything that he's got going on. But them calls started coming through and everybody started hearing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit. They tell niggas, you better get off the car. Niggas say, I ain't even got my deposit. They say, well, I don't give a shit about no deposit. You better get off that motherfucking car. Um, Danny Myers versus Loaded Lux. I just started a joke the other day on Twitter where I said that uh, they probably on the phone with Danny Myers offering him Loaded Lux right now to get off that card. Uh, I didn't speak to Danny Myers. I called him, though. Um, and he's staying on the card. He's battling against Rosenberg Raw. They got a two-minute round. Um, so they're doing two-minute rounds because, you know, the time is so short amongst each other. But Danny Myers battles on every fucking league, on every damn card. He's somewhere battling right now. So if they would have made him get off the card or even insinuated to him getting off the card, it probably would have been crazy. It, it would have looked crazy for him. But the other guys, they're not even really solidified like that. So I'm not even surprised that all of them got off the card in <laughs> expeditiously. But what I will say, the lesson learned here is uh, for MC, this is the lesson learned. If you know for a fact that you can't do this, you can't do that, if you call and ask it's going to be an issue or whatever, don't do it. Just, just simply do not fucking do it. If you know for a fact that you cannot do this shit or they're going to be wild or they're going to have an issue with you doing it or they're going to shoot the whole fucking car down, don't do it. Because in the end, you're just going to look bad. You're going to get the angles. You're going to get the blogs. You're going to get everybody talking about you. You're going to get it being brought up in the interviews. You're going to get all that. The, the league bears no responsibility. They can just throw rocks, make sure the shit happens, and then they can sit back as this big logo. But you as the MC is going to look crazy. You know, everybody's wilding. They're going in on True Fold, call them True Fold, and other shit like that. That's going to happen. You know what I mean? And I understand, you know, he said he got a more lucrative offer, but you can't just sign a con. And then he said in the interview that, <laughs> I fuck with True too. He said in the interview, that if I get another offer for another battle the same day that I just left this card to go do another card, I'm going to go do that card and leave the league that I just nigga. No, 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 no fucking way. There's no way. You're not. I, I cannot believe. Who's advising this nigga? And that's my man, too. He sent me some music. I'm going to play it for some intros. But who is advising this nigga that you could be on a card with Easy, get a call from URL, get a more lucrative deal, go to URL, and then if somebody calls you and tells you to do something else on that date, my nigga, what the fuck are you doing? You ain't going to complete none of these missions. You just going to do whatever? That's what you're going to do? Come on, my nigga. I'm going to get the fuck up out of here, man. But uh, yeah, bro, come on. True, 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 true. The money cannot be that fucking important. You hear me? The fucking money cannot be more important than completing the damn objective, my nigga. You my man, but dog, come the fuck on. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Them niggas ain't, them niggas told you that if you stay on that motherfucker car, you can take your ass back to the city and you won't be on here no more. Get it together and tighten up. Salute to every single one of y'all. I'm out.